Okay, what's up guys? It's Toolbox, and sorry this tutorial took so long. Um, I was trying to figure out how to do something. I was trying to pretty much figure out how to give you guys my save so that you didn't have to do it yourself. I spent about a month trying to do that, and I finally figured it out until I realized that um, the points would actually register to my account instead of your guys' account if I did that. So whatever. Here's a new updated tutorial. So first thing you want to do is go to your Xbox dashboard and put in your USB. And then when you start up Reach, you will get uh, like a message asking which um, device you want to play with. And you want to select your USB. It's called Memory Unit. And then go to the Campaign Lobby and do exactly what I do. If you don't do exactly what I do, this entire thing will not work for you. So, um... You want to do Onai Sword Base for Mission Start, select every single skull except for Iron and Blind. And, um, yeah, every single skull, just for those two, because Iron will just, you can't really revert to last checkpoint with Iron. Um, has to be Heroic. Don't bother doing Legendary. If you do Legendary, it won't work either, just do Heroic. Um, scoring, set it for Free For All, don't do Team. I don't know what happens if you do Team. It'll probably work, but just do exactly what I do. And then just start up the campaign and um, kind of do the uh, famous Onai Sword Base target locator glitch. You just run over here and grab a target locator and aim exactly where I aim. You want to aim right between that, uh, I don't know what to call it, like a cement block. And then run back to the door and you'll get a checkpoint. And make sure you get a really good checkpoint because this checkpoint you're going to use for a while if you're going to boost with it. Um, so yeah, aim right here. If you aim right between the uh, cement wall and the cement block, there's a fusion coil right there, so when the um, missile thing comes down, it'll blow up the fusion coil, killing more enemies. Okay, so then you want to save and quit, and then take out your USB, and then open up Liberty, which is in the description. And you just want to choose the uh, device, and then hit next, and then that's the right profile. And there's a nice sword base. Don't need to do anything for any of this stuff, so just click next. Um, nothing there, nothing there. Okay, so fine tuning. This part's really important. So change cat and the marines coordinates to anything random, just as far away from the enemies as possible so they don't kill them. Um, so just like 100 million, whatever. Um, and then uh, go to the enemies and change their coordinates to negative 66, 55, and 15.86. This will be right beside where the uh, fusion coil is, so you'll pretty much kill all the enemies. Um, so yeah, I'm just speeding it up here because that took me a while to do, because I suck at typing. Um, so once you're done that, there's the last one right there. So yeah, negative 66, 55, and 15.86. Let's check to make sure you've done all them. And then go to health. There's a little tab two over from info and change all their health to 15. So this will make it so that even you'll even be able to kill the elites, which without their uh, without changing their health, you won't be able to kill. So this you will be killing four enemies instead of three enemies. So um, it'll be a really easy kill, and you'll probably kill just about every single enemy on the map, usually 20 to 30 enemies every single airstrike. That's what they're called. I was trying to remember what they're called. Yeah, airstrikes. Um, you don't need to create a backup. Um, it takes about maybe 10 seconds to save, and then you just hit close, and that's all you need to do for the modding. That was pretty simple. And then just hit resume solo campaign just to make sure you got a good save. Um, but wait, before I do that, you gotta put your USB in stick. Um, and obviously because you can't do it from your hard drive, so you get that message, just put your USB stick in again, and then select your USB. Um, yeah, go down, select USB, and then hit resume solo campaign, and when you resume it, you should get a killing error at least every single time with a killing spree. So as you can see, I'm getting a killing error. Um, and then you can save and quit, just to make sure you got um, four different types of enemies, so we'll just save and quit. Um, so that wasn't really part of the boosting, that was just testing it. So, just save. So then, just go to your stats, and then, as you can see, kill the Elite Specialist, Grunt Hero, I don't know what those other ones are, Jackal Specialist, and Skirmisher Specialist, I think. Um, okay, so yeah, you got 
four different enemies, and as you can see, I'm killing 23 enemies every single time. Um, so yeah, just make sure you got four different enemies, or else you won't be able to like fill in all the challenges. Okay, now download the iMacros that I made for you guys, and it'll be in the description, and then put it in the iMacros folder, so it's your documents, and then iMacros, and then the iMacros subfolder, and then take your, um, or my iMacros that I made for you, and then open up the folder in the zip folder, or WinRAR, whatever, um, and then just drag, open up the folder, and then drag in all five of those .iim. Um, files into the iMacros folder and then that's that for iMacros so you can just click out of that and then go to Google Chrome and just go to the Halo Waypoint website just to make sure you got the iMacros already um, so as you can see at the top right corner of Google Chrome there's like a really weird kind of thingy you just click that and then just make sure you got all five of them so you got all five of them that's good so then just test one of them just to make sure it um, scripts all the uh, challenges so as you can see it's creating a challenge for me that's the metal one so that's pretty much how fast it creates the challenges it's 5000 credits um, easy as that so basically you just do that for every single challenge and so 520 medals you're earning a killing air medal and a killing spree medal so you have to revert exactly 52 times to earn 25,000 credits, so you just revert 52 times, um, save and quit, go back to the Halo Waypoint website, and then that little bar will fill up, and then you just hit return in, and um, give it about 20 seconds to register. If you don't give it 20 seconds, it'll just say zero. So that's about it. That's as fastest way you can possibly rank up in Halo Reach. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe.